a series of mantras. And spectators who are curious but unquestioningly welcome Matthew to their religion. Now he is to be given a new name. Since your name is Matthew, the name should be with Yam. Matthew becomes Mahendra Kumar Sharma. Mahendra is good. Mahendra is good. Okay. In less than two hours, the Canadian Christian has converted himself into a Hindu. Like all religious festivals, the Kumbh also means different things to different people. For some, it is all about piety. Some come to enjoy the carnival spirit. For others, it's a chance for renewal, trance and meditation. And many see it as a Woodstockian experience. It is this free interpretation that makes the Kumbh more than just a confluence of sacred rivers. In the coming together of travelers from across India and the world, the Mela in effect becomes a confluence of beliefs, cultures and philosophies from all over the world. The Maya in uh, Central America, big astronomer, they find exactly the number of the days and uh, of the hour of the year because very specialized in the astronomy. And they, they know about their culture that the end of the world will be in uh, 2012, in December. So exactly a little before the next Kumbh Mela. So maybe it will be the last Kumbh Mela. <laughs> I don't have to forget. Whether it was the Beatles or Gian Pietro Masella from Italy, the mystical and the spiritual of India have always remained a tantalizing attraction for the Westerners. Gian Pietro came to India eight years ago. After an accident that left him paralyzed, one of the few things that remained with him was his experience in this country. So addictive, so hypnotic, he is drawn to it time and again. Gian Pietro has not given up Christianity, yet he respects the power of the Ganges. Like a pious Hindu, with total devotion, he repeats the mantras after the priest. And the priest has no qualms about Gian Pietro worshipping a Hindu goddess. This hospitality of Hinduism becomes most evident during the Kumbh and draws thousands of foreigners to the Mela. Gian Pietro's wheelchair is not a handicap. In this atmosphere, where the spirit of camaraderie is overflowing, there are any number of people ready to offer a helping hand. And Gian Pietro floats along with the crowds, taking in the colors, the sounds, and the rhythms. The individual is nothing. And uh, in a special place, in a special day, in a special year, some energy happens on you. I don't know if something happens, if something changes, but I know that it's important to be in the same place like human beings, not like uh, myself, like Gian Pietro Marcella, but like a uh, human being. He may be skeptical whether this pilgrimage will change him spiritually. But Gian Pietro has surely understood the essence of Kum, a meaning that transcends the boat rites, the mantras, and the hashish, a meaning that lies in rising above the self 
and blending into one larger collective identity. Like other pilgrims, Gian Pietro too visits the sadhus. To listen to their words of wisdom and share a few drags of hashish. The senior sadhu here is Shivadas Baba, also an Italian. He came as a hippie in search of spiritual peace, got curious about the ways of the sadhus, and finally decided to become one himself. When I was accepted inside the Udasi Panchayati Barakara, that I am now sadhu, nobody never from the top of my aunt to the smallest sadhus, no one asked me to, to tell me to, how can you say exactly in English that you have to neglect your own religion and become a Hindu. Nobody speak me in this way. They accepted me in that, in their akaras, they give me, I eat with them, they give me love, food, knowledge, everything. In India, I am very okay because I have no problem. Any kind of problem in this kind of life, you are respected for what you are. You have many facilities here because it's culture here, Indian culture. To be sadhu in my country is very hard, <laughs> very, very hard. Because they don't understand our way, they don't understand long hair, they think I am one like beggar, like one who, who wants to live without work. Western mind is different because they don't, they don't know. It's different culture. <laughs>